Are you back for the night, sir? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile who told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. I do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you'd just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk.
You're sure this is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. The Batwing is prepped and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. A question, sir, if I may. How did Waylon Jones come to be the way he is? Atavism, from the look of it. An unfortunate genetic mutation. Do you think the condition causes physical pain? Might that explain his rage? It goes deeper than that. Imagine growing up looking like he did. Children are cruel, Alfred. Uh, so are adults, sir. Um, all part of the human condition, I suppose. We have a tendency to fear, often outright despise, that which is different. Ah, but you already knew that. If you're serious about getting to Jezebel Plaza in time to find Penguin's men, you'll want to leave soon. Alfred, how are things? Status quo, sir. Status quo. Seems to me that Captain Gordon is the one good apple in a bad bunch. Your detective work tonight is most impressive, Master Bruce. A shame it couldn't be of the armchair variety. Some of the assassins have access to rather interesting technology. When this is over, you might want to consider appropriating it. Let some good come of tonight's events. Some of the assassins... you'd better hurry if you're planning on getting to Jezebel Plaza before Penguin's men finish their... Uh, business.
Smash him! So, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto-nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. smoke pellets to conceal my movements. You got some kind of death wish? I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. I'll cover you. Attacking head-on is a good way to get myself shot, and probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. That thing out there with you? Are you crazy? You were answering the service call. That's it? You better not be lying. I can use the gargoyles to move around the room in the shadows. Who's out there? through the vent. What the hell was that? You think it's the guy that hired us? You piss him off or something? No way. Besides, I don't get the sense that he's the uh, physical guy. Either way, we need to get the hell out of here. Now!
get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Fix the tower. We're in and out. Where that I can, I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. I think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels.
Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, if it isn't the King's thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Hmm, Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Jezebel Plaza. 